Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to show you my beautiful glow pendulums that I have for sale now. Um, they are excellent divination tools, the light actually keeps you focused and to focus your energy. Um, great for people who do Reiki or uh, any type of, you know, hypnotizing. Um, they're really cool, they're really cool. I don't think you're going to find them anywhere else. Um, also, they go great with my healing boxes. They have my mystery healing boxes. Um, these are 25 a piece, and so on the boxes. They're 20, and then the larger ones would be 25. Uh, the boxes bring up the highest qualities and properties of your crystals and stones, and um, they'll keep your pendulum pretty uh, safe, too. So give me a shout if you are interested in them. Put this here. So I am doing the mid-March readings for all the zodiac signs. And I've been doing them lately as um, elements. So I think this element is going to be fire. So that would be Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So let's see, who are we going to start off with? Let's start off with Leo. And for Leo, I am going to use the Spellcasters. Okay. Energy surrounding Leo. What's going on for the rest of the month? Thor Lionhearts. Leo here now. What's going on with Leo? Ooh. Okay, here yeah, we're going to start off with the King of Pentacles. And that would be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody who is very Earth-like. They're practical and methodical. They don't sugarcoat anything. They're not going to sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. You know, they're realists. The flights are fancy here. You know, they like to have material things, but they also, you know, appreciate the hard work that goes into acquiring them. They're very easily, you know, approachable here, Leo. And that grounding energy, energy, you know, might help you out in whatever situation that you're in. Because they can always bring, like, a, a point of reality, you know, to a situation. Now, the next card I want to fall out with it is someone being on guard. Maybe a little paranoid. You've got the Nine of Wands here, Leo. I don't think I've ever seen a card that looks more paranoia <laughs> like this one. So this is somebody who's on guard. They've been in the battle for a while. They don't give up. But there's only one person in the card. Who are they fighting? This is being on guard, staying on guard, nines being close to a ten. Either battle is ready to be won or lost. Now it could have something to do with an earth sign here. Let's see if he's friend or foe. You might feel weary, you know, about an Earth-like person being around you. Keeps you on your toes. Makes you feel like you're on guard. Hmm. Ah. But now you get truth. The Ace of Swords here. And this is the universe giving you an opportunity, whether you take it or not, Leo, to either hear the truth, speak the truth, or know the truth. Some people are afraid of the truth, especially when truth is coming out. He looks pretty calm, cool, and collective. Maybe he already knows the truth. Sometimes the truth can hurt, Leo. Now remember, this could be in friendship, partnership, loveship, career, you know, family, however it applies. It could be the energy that's, you know, coming towards you or the energy you're putting out there. So, somebody here might even know the truth and they're good with it. Because they know what is true and what's not. People who are sketchy, maybe fear hearing the truth. And Leo, at the end of this cycle, nine, and then you get the ten of cups here, but it's in reverse. At the end of the cycle, it's almost like nobody wins. After completing a cycle, 
10 empty cups. Again, some people are going to like it. Some people are going to be good with it. Some people are going to deal with it. Some people aren't. Because when the truth comes in, I don't know why I want to say settle a score, but maybe it evens the odds. You know, if somebody was fearing a lie, then you wouldn't have to fear it anymore. You know what I mean, Leo? <clears throat> hmm. And this ha might have something to do with the past, too, Leo. You get the Six of Cups nostalgia. Someone here could be reminiscing about the past. Maybe when they were a kid, or if they have children. Maybe better times. Maybe somebody knows the truth about the past. Leo. And they're all right with it because they know their truth. Yeah. This is going to put you in a situation, Leo. Because the bottom of the deck, you get the two of wands. <clears throat> and the way it's depicted here, he's got an arm tied, he's got a leg tied. He's going to be pulled in two different directions. Wow, Leo. But if this is not someone around that could be calm, cool, and collective and help you make that decision on which way you're going to go, because you are going to get pulled in two directions. And of course, it's going to leave you 10 empty cups because it's probably something that you don't want to do, Leo. But this person's, you know, the flights are fancy. See something for how it really is. If it's not someone, it could be the energy that you're going to need in order to either speak the truth, know the truth, hear the truth. So, you're going to make a decision, Leo. You're going to make a decision based on your truth, what you know to be true and what you know to be right. And whether this is something from the past that gets dragged back up again. At the end of a cycle, even though it doesn't end that sweet, it is an ending. End it with the truth, Leo. Wow. Good luck, Leo. I don't know how want to be in that situation. That's a hard place. So, what are we going next to? How about Aries? Okay. What's going on with Aries? Waste no time, Aries. <laughs> Avoiding conflict. You get the five of swords in the reverse. Now, in the upright, this could be a little brutal, you know. Words said, not that they're true, they just wound. That's why they call it the hollow victory. I mean, really, did you have to go there? But this is avoiding it and not engaging in it. Not hitting below the belt. Not that one-upping somebody. It's a good for you, Aries. You pick and choose, you know, the right fights to fight. You know, if something seems minuscule or tedious, my bother. Let them waste their energy. So no fight, oh, no fighting for Aries. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna grab that card. Oh, so Aries, because you choose not to engage or do backbiting, or you know, just hit a little bell. You're more in control of yourself and the situation. You have the Emperor here, which is Aries, Taurus energy, the king of all kings. I mean, he makes the rules. But he also follows his own rules because he leads by example. Put him on the block a couple of times. It could be a stubborn energy, Aries. 
But in this particular situation, I don't think think anything is stubborn. He says, no. Not having it, not doing it, not doing it with you. Now remember, Aries, this could be the energy coming towards you, the energy you're putting out there, friendship, partnership, love, ship, career, family. But this communication. Now, this is different than this. This is um, reciprocated communication going back and forth. No animosity, I feel. Or any type of tenaciousness. You know, when you're in control, Aries, you know, when you don't engage in conflict with somebody, you keep yourself all even keel. That's admirable. And people will notice that too. You know, because you mature. Now, when you're in control and maybe somebody's wanting to engage and you're just not having it or not feeding into it, someone's going to have a little bit of uh, what have could have, should have here. Remorse, regret, sorrow. When something's spoken calmly, you know, and logically, when both parties are heard, I think when you get down to the basics of it, you get two fives here. You don't engage with them, but you do talk to them, Aries. And I think that you find out that maybe anger or animosity or something is all due to the would haves, could have, should have. Maybe somebody can't let go of something. You, them, them, you. Or well, they do regret not doing something. Aries, it seems to me that there needs to be some sort of resolvement here. You know, people lash out for different reasons. Whether they're happy, mad, glad, sad, you know, they handle it differently. So somebody might come off as, you know, edgy or, you know, agitated. Really, they might be hurt. Or a narcissist. Or a liar. Wow, you get the uh, King of Swords in reverse. One of the cards I can't stand in reverse. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, or somebody who takes on these properties. In the upright, they speak their truth. The words might be a little bit cold or, or you know, rigid, but they're the truth. His emotions are in the back seat. He's got the facts, the figures, the numbers. Now, usually, because they're very, you know, intelligent, they usually have some sort of role, you know, doctor, lawyer, CEO. Uh, successful business. But it came in reverse. This is somebody who likes to play mind games. And they're real good at it, too. Real good at it, Aries. You know, this is like, this might be crocodile tears. Kind of pulling your heartstrings. Soften you up, because when you're in control, you know, you get your emotions in check. Maybe they can't read you. So now, they play the games. Maybe they try to get under your skin. Maybe they say half-truths and keep you wondering. Aries, you are so far beyond whatever this person wants to bring. So far. Because you have a wish being granted. And this is not your wish that's going to come into fulfillment. Maybe somebody's wishing that they can convince you somehow, some way. Maybe they want money, Aries. You get the Knight of uh, Pentacles here. Slow, but solid. Rock solid when he comes in. You know what I mean? It's all eyes dotted, all T's crossed. So, this sounds like, or feels like to me here, Aries Persuasion. You know, they don't want to engage with you. They just want to talk. You know, maybe they're going to lay it on thick. What is it should But Aries, be aware. They know exactly what they're doing. 
exactly what they're doing. And they're wishing. They're wishing that they can pull this mask over, you know, your eyes. Aries, too smart. And been there and done that. You'll see this person coming a mile away. What you do with them is up to you. But that's what they're gunning for. So, good luck, Aries. Now you see it coming. <laughs> All right. We are going to go on to Sagittarius. And why don't we do... Which is Tarot? For Sagittarius, mid-March, 2021. What is coming around Sagittarius? Oh, 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 Sag, get ready. You're engaging. Conflict. One-upping somebody. Winning at all costs. Hitting below the belt. Not because the words are true. It's just because they hurt. It's a hollow victory. Sag, you know, and... They're planning on it. They don't want to get away with something. The Seven of Swords, the Thief card. Sag, there's a lot of ways to depict a thief. Yes, they steal your material things. You know, they can steal your work and put their name on it and claim it as their own. This could be somebody who, um, just all of a sudden, for no rhyme or reason, doesn't return a phone call or text. It's like they fall off the face of the earth. But you, they make you feel like you did something wrong. This is a coward. Sag, because this person cannot stand up to their convictions. And when somebody wants to, you know, confront them, they're looking for the back door. So you might have to have a little bit of a, of a confrontation here, Sag, with somebody who thinks they got away with something. Now remember, your energy, you know, you're putting out there, all the energy coming towards you, friendship, partnership, love ship, career, family, however it applies. You know, and you might have to corner this person, and they might come out, you know, swinging, just saying. What is with the fives? The five signs. Does somebody feel like they got rooked? The five of pentacles feeling, you know, ousted, shunned, blocked, the outside looking in, alone, abandoned. Financial pinch? Sure. Alienated? Wow. The thief in between two fives. Hmm. Sag, if this is your energy that somebody's approaching you and you need to confront them, they might have to go on the outs. Because they're going to be stealing from you. They don't belong in your circle. And if this is your energy, you're probably going to get ousted. After some sort of flare-up or a conflict, you know, this person, whoever the Seven of Swords is, whether you're dealing with them, you know, or you're betraying them, they're thinking they're getting away with something right now. No way. No way. It's a wish card again. This is a different deck. Nine of Cups. You know, this is, you know, a wish being granted. Nine's being close to a ten. I'll take a nine any day. You know, this is emotional fulfillment. That something gets, you know, is gratifying. Now, maybe somebody's hoping or wishing for this. It could be in a financial pinch. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. But they're going to be confronted. Sag, either you have to confront them or you're going to be confronted. And it might land somebody here well in on the outs. Yeah, outside of a home, 
outside of a relationship. You get the Four of Wands here, known as a marriage card. But this is a stabilizing energy, Sag. So you know, the Four of Wands is built on stable ground. It's built there for the right reasons. It's the beginning of building your castle. Something goes to the next level. You know, dating, going exclusive, exclusive, moving in together. You know how it goes. But something is being elevated. Somebody's wishing for something to be elevated. But you got crafty energy here, Sag. It seems to me, whether this is a partner or, or a friend, you know, somebody here might want something kicked up a notch, thinking that things are cool. Well, behind somebody's back, they could be leaving him alone, ghosting them, off on doing whatever they're doing. That causes conflict. You know, when somebody doesn't come home all night, and they just blatantly just, you know, disregard your feelings or something. Sag, don't be the one on the outs. If you get a corner someone and confront them, get the tooth out of them. Nobody wants to be here. But you might have to put somebody here. You know, you might have to stabilize your own situation solo. At least you'll be on good ground. Because this only brings heartbreak and sorrow. And if this is somebody that you're dealing with, you know, it's like a never-ending cycle. That tree will never grow any more pentacles, and you'll always have a sword in your hand to fight. That's if you catch them, Sag. Or if they catch you. So say what you have to say. Don't stick around, Sag, and be a victim. Say what you gotta say. Say it tastefully. But say it. You can call them out. Before you wake up one day and everything is gone. And they are too. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Um, thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock. Should have said it in the beginning, but I get a little carried away. Um, if you're new to my channel, then welcome. And make sure you hit the subscribe button below. That way you get notification for all my new stuff. And if you are returning, I am so glad you're here and sticking it out with me. So every Wednesday I go live. So come join me in the peeps to do a look in on all the zodiac signs as well as a random reading. That's 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Wednesday. So tell them, folks, take care.